What's going on, you guys? We're here at the Henderson Regional. I'm here with my boy Oscar from Pro Play Games and my boy Ro the Robin Charman, uh, aka Cyberhorn92. And we are here with Brandon Ramos. And what did you do? I topped three with Cyber Angel Hero. With what deck? Cyber Angel Hero. And why did you play that deck? <laughs> because I thought it was pretty good against the meta and nobody was going to expect it. And obviously it was. All right, let's see what you played, man. All right. So. The main boss of the deck, Ooh, the one that just says you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! Herald. Makes sense. Makes sense. Standard. This is Bay. Searches for everything, gets you everything you need. You have to play three. Got it. <laughs> stick chairs. The stick chair play. Beast of the deck. Just gets you draws for days. And just baits out any background most of the time. Uh, two Maju. I don't want to play three because I feel like I didn't need it two with my tech I'm playing in here. I felt like just two was enough. I got me what I needed. I got you there, yeah. Double Honest. I used to play Mimir's Shield, but I took it out because I needed the second Honest because of the tech you guys will see. And it did me justice all day. Like when I needed it, it was there. Yeah. And no one saw it coming. No one saw it coming. Not the second one. The MVP. Oh! MVP guard of the day. Yeah, on the barrier. That the light everything, stuff, everything that was not ABC, this card just said you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> this and Herald, it's stupid. Auto win. Auto win. Auto win. It's a fairy too, right? Yeah, this wow. is a fairy. So Ben's going to search it. You get it with ties. So Plus it's really You get it. <laughs> Makes sense. Pretty everything. Sephira, I just played one. Uh, I would just keep it a one. It was clutch sometimes. I need it. That was one time I... Did that in Ouroboros and took two cards and that were very important out of my bonus hand, so I would always keep it on one. This card really came in clutch, like, when I was playing against Buster Dragon, like, using this, just making Herald 3,800 permanently, they can't get over it. It just gives me more time. Uh, spells, pretty straightforward. Three Ritual Sanctuary, you have to play it. I mean, this card gets you everything in the deck. The combos with this you can do are just stupid. Ridiculous. Three pre prep. You want to see this card? You Usually, if you open this and your opponent doesn't stop it at all, you just you plus two way too hard for me. It's a really good card. Three Dawn, you have to play it because obviously it's playing Harold. Two Desires. Uh, I don't want to play three. Uh, because I felt like it was cloggy, so two was good enough for me. The stuff I usually banished wasn't really bad, so it kind of did me justice all day today. You play a lot of three of, so I oh, can I see. I play a lot of three of, so you know, yeah. the stuff that was one up, so yeah. I'd never really. Did it ever cost you a game, or was it? No, actually, it saved me a lot today, so I highly recommend playing this card. Awesome. Secret hidden. Oh tech. boy, okay, you gotta explain oh. this. Okay. If you summon Maju, summon Star Seraph, or summon Barrier Statue, or Honest, any of your normal summons, you play this card. If your opponent does not stop this, I guarantee most of the time you will win. You, this plus Herald, it's just, it's too much uh, advantage. Usually I would, if I had Honest in hand, I would just do my normal summon Maju, summon Barrier Statue, and a Scepter, add a chair. I already have Herald on the field. So now they gotta worry about my hand, and they gotta worry about getting over Barrier Statue first turn. I mean, like, that's just like, it's, it's like the worst thing that could happen to your opponent. If you're not playing a light deck, it just says yeah. you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you have Herald that can yeah. negate anything, and you have a monster that says you can't special why, something. Why do you choose only to play two of the card so good? Because there was times when I was playing three and I just like didn't need it because honestly like it's good but the whole battle phase and then you can't special summon after that like it kind of hindered me if I got ended up going second which I did a lot today like a lot of games I did go second so I decided just to play two and I wouldn't bump it up more than that like it was there when I needed it and I just never have any bad things about this card I highly recommend it. So. Um, when we're geeky, this card all day today, just all day. Desires in today, save me so many times. MVP. MVP. <laughs> uh, preparation of rights. Wish this card come back to two, so we can really play some Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. <laughs> one twin twister. I just wanted a main deck one because most of the time. If I want to go first, but if I do end up going second, it's nice to see it. Like, I played against ABCs today a lot, and this helped me get rid of some of the back row, so. 
Yeah. It's always good to have yeah. just one. And you wouldn't dead draw it at one, so no. always good. No, yeah. always good. Uh, one is diffusion. I would say you want to get Norton. Norton is stupid, and Norton is a fairy, so you can do even more ridiculous plays with it. Want him alike because Saphira need it, man. Plus the uh, banishing doesn't activate, so it can protect your rituals from getting destroyed, which came in a lot today. One Sarah for me. I'm not playing two because honestly, like I'm so tight on room. I just needed to cut something. One was good. Like I never needed or missed a second. This card. Okay, you gotta explain. I've never even Sprite's seen this. Card. This came out in. Let's see. Invasion of Vengeance? This card is a really sleeper hit card for this deck. I took out Cyber Rain into Ritual because I used to be playing that because there were times I would have plays to summon them, but I wouldn't be able to. But once I found out about this card, I wanted to play this because it summons everything in this deck. For the players that don't know, what does that card do? Um, you pretty much you can use it to ritual summon any light ritual monster as long as the levels are exact. Oh, okay. It's a simple effect, but just the bottom line, this card can just bring out anything in this deck. And there is an instance I played Desires because I was forced to, and I ended up banishing three of my Dons. I had Harold, but I had Maju, and I knew I had this. So I searched this and was able to get my plays off with this. And this card really came in close. So basically it's like another way to summon It's just another guys. way to summon Harold, and it's good if you're playing Desires because this could really come in handy for that instance. And then One trap, obvious. Honest. How many times did you Harold Emptiness people? Uh, two times. Whew. Good enough. Mm, good awesome. enough. It was there when you needed it. That wasn't the same person. No. Uh, <laughs> that would have been me. Yeah, that would have been Not the same yeah. person. Uh, so would you make any changes to the main deck? Looks very, very um, solid. Not really. It's yeah. really solid. It like, worked for yeah. It worked really well. Besides, like when the balance comes out, we'll see what yeah. Konami does. I wouldn't change anything. Okay. Right cool. All right. Yep. Let's see your side or extra you choose. Uh, you want to go extra? You're playing that. You don't know what it does? No, yeah, I thought you were saying that. Uh, oh, you're playing a really good one. I think you can. You call it Dutch one. Yeah, that's what I used to say. One Norton. Institution target. Norton. Fairy. Stupid. Stupid. This Swaller. A uh, few times it came up against, you know, Milling Dex. Mermel. Mermel. Pretty much. Uh, anything in Grave. Anything in Grave. You just, you need it. Orboros, this card, I use this so much today, it's really, really good. The whole discard effect, this and Sephira, the combos are real, like take two cards that hurts. Fairy Cheer Girl, I uh, make her a lot today, just the extra draw always helps, and you can never go wrong with her. Utopia Beyond, it ain't make this today, but there's situations where this can just help you win games. It makes them all zero, right? It makes them all yeah. zero currently, so you can't go wrong with that. My Castell for monster removal. I only used it once today, but let's there when you need it. One Diamond Dyer, same thing. Just back row monster removal, generic. This, I use this against ABCs today, and it really helps. Like, banishing both their monsters and that they need, it's really clutch. So I always keep this card. Cowboy. I resolve Pink Cowboy with my today and one. Nice. So... <laughs> I am happy I put it in. It was a last minute decision. Emerald, didn't use it today, but late games, if they drag on, you want to see this. Especially if you're playing Desires, you got to get your resources back. Diamond. This card. <laughs> this card helped so much save me from BAs. It saved me from heroes. This card was the, it's just my MVP XYZ of the whole day. Wow, I think it is. And the zombies too, it, it stopped them from milling. Like, I just cannot highly recommend playing this card enough. It's really good right now. How many times did you bring that out today? I kid you not, like every every <laughs> game I brought that out, really. It was really good. Except for against ABCs, but all the other decks, this card did not work. Deltros. The whole, they can't chain anything to the summon of, and the scepter's effect, it's stupid. It's, it's, it's stupid. You, you go so hard on this with plus one. Then the Utopia package. Awesome. Lightning, Prime. The guys, you can do it twice. You do it twice, so why not? Makes sense. Plus, in this instance, I actually lost some material, but his effect still is there. And I had Honest in hand. Oh, nice. So I attack, drop Honest, I get over whatever I need to. Yep. Makes sense. Awesome. All right, just set a deck. All right. 
Let's see, I'll start for two traps. Two row the Cree. I uh, cited this in quite a few times, especially against uh, ABCs, and I did play against a hero player, I cited this in, and BA. I felt like strike and dimensional barrier was a big threat, and if I went first, I wanted to see it. So, I mean, I can't afford Danku like to summon it because you need your normal summon. Normal for Manju or yeah. the stick to and I need a tie target and I can't tie target. Right. That, so it just makes sense to play this instead. Now, this card. What is that? Urgent Ritual Art. This is for people who play D Barrier Artifacts against me, which happened today. You play this on your opponent's turn, you can banish uh, the ritual spell from your hand or the graveyard to summon the ritual monster on their turn. Oh, wow. So, there was an instance, I got game two, he played D Barrier against me. I had this. I said it, and I just did some shenanigans, I got some trolls, and then I passed turn. On his turn, I flipped this, I banished my Dawn and the Herald, got Herald on this turn. Wow. And it just came in so clutch. Like, this card is there. You need it. <laughs> uh, spells, two system down, ABC machines. Pretty straightforward. You gotta play still. Staple. Staple. Second Twin Twister. I sighted in, you know, when I needed it. Uh, came in clutch. You know, always good to have two. Monsters, two maxi. Love this card. Just Mermills, you just drop this on them, going first, like, play Yu-Gi-Oh! And they get even more scared because they know what you're playing. So they have to do something, otherwise they know you're playing. Would you main deck that card? No, I would always side it. I can't play anything that I don't want to see in my hand if I go first. It's a combo, anything, combo deck. I want to combo as hard as I can. Exactly. Double Gold Silver, this card came in, clutch. This card obviously is one of the best hand drafts we have right now. I would never change it. This guy. Oh, God. Santa Claus. Oh, boy. You got to explain. Oh, my God. I already okay. see what that last card is. So, oh, Lord. this is pretty much a kaiju, except it has the one bad effect of if you leave it on their side of the field, they draw one. But I never let that happen. Thank God. True. Um, I play this because it's a level six and it's a light. So. If I draw it, and if I don't need it, I can at least use it to summon any one of my ritual monsters, because it's exact level of 6. And there was times where Saphira, like, I actually got this back, because it's a light. And Saphira could get any light monster back from Raider, so you can recycle it. And we're back in the Stone Ages with this last card. Jesus Christ. Well, not that card, that card, never mind, never mind. <laughs> the last card. <laughs> Lancio. I cited this in a lot against ABCs, Infernoids, you name it. Searchable, you a just, on, it's a fairy, you just on their turn, Lancio. Nice. That's so stun heavy. Yeah. This last card, we're going back to the last Stone card. Ages. Whoa! That consecrated light. light. Now, I expected to see a lot of DDDs today, but we all did. I, I did not play <laughs> against any today. Who did I? I played ABCs, Mermills, Frogs, you name it. But I did not play that. But this <laughs> card, this card against any dark it just says you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Exactly. You can't awesome. do anything. Overhype. Overhype. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> all right, man. Do you have any shout outs or anything? Yeah, shout out to. Uh, Let's see, it's my boy Dennis for recommending the Ties of the Brethren. I wasn't going to play it at first, but he kept trying to sell me on it, and I'm glad I put it yeah, in that card. That sounds just amazing. Just put it work today. And I want to give a shout-out to you guys. Shout-out to Slim RGO Pro. You know, thank you for doing a deck profile. Yeah, no problem. Me. And Pro Play Games. Pro Play Games. Thank you again. Always a pleasure. All right, man. And to Cyberhorn92, of course. Cyberhorn the Yay. Robert Jarman. All right, man. Well, congratulations on getting third place with probably the most underrated. like underrated and unbelievable deck to be here Nobody this weekend. But this deck. Yeah. You, you deserve it, man. Are congratulations. Are you thinking about playing this deck for next format? Yes, highly. Because once the balance comes out, anything that the balance put is not going to hurt this deck. Right. And Zodiacs, what are they going to do? Exactly. All right, man. Well, congratulations again on your third place, and thank you for the deck profile. Thank you.